It's like temperature signs that I see on the way in. They all said about 58, and I thought, that's pretty good for 3 in the morning. Right, yeah, yeah. it was 75 yesterday for the second day in a row, mm -hmm. and then the clouds came in over the top of that warm air, kind of trapped it in place. So it is very mild outside for now, but a cold front is just offshore. That's what's going to increase rain throughout the morning hours and eventually kind of drop our temperatures. So we're not going to see much of a warm-up throughout the day today. Now behind this cold front, much cooler air and much more unsettled air moves in. So so this afternoon we're talking about sun breaks and showers and some of those showers may briefly be heavy potentially containing an isolated clap of thunder or lightning. So this morning the vast majority of the rain happens associated with that cold front. This is 8 o'clock in the morning. You can see wet west of the Cascades, still mainly dry east of the mountains. Then that cold front spreads east later this afternoon. Here's 5 o'clock. You'll notice a lot of sun breaks kind of in the mix, but a few passing showers out there too and some of those heavy, those yellows on your rain and cloud forecast indicate downpours. Tomorrow morning, 7.30, a lot of us wake up to dry conditions, showers along the coast, and then throughout the afternoon, showers will really start to ramp up, maybe some downpours around, or again, isolated thunder. Same situation on Saturday. Unsettled weather, not wet all day, but definitely some of the day with scattered showers around. Mother's Day looks drier, especially in the morning. You can see, uh, well, this is midnight in the morning of Mother's Day, but showers pick up as we head into the afternoon, Mother's Day. Out along the coast today. Morning rain and then this afternoon skies start to break up a bit but downpours develop. Southwesterly wind a little gusty at times gusting up to 30 miles per hour. I-5 corridor topping out 57 degrees in McMinnville, 56 in Salem. A wet start to the day and then this afternoon we'll go back and forth between dry and wet time and even some rays of sunshine make it through those clouds. Increasing showers east of the Cascades later this morning and into the afternoon. Slight chance of a storm the second half of the day. Still warm far east. So Baker City may make it to 78 degrees. Meantime, low 60s for Madras and Bend as that cool air moves in. Steady rain this morning in the gorge. On and off showers in the afternoon. Breezy as you head east. Westerly wind gusting 25 to 30 miles per hour. Steady rain in the morning also up over the Cascades with a snow level 7,500 feet early on, dropping to 5,500 feet. So that's just above the passes. Uh, right below Timberline Lodge later on today, we may see a skiff of new snow. Tomorrow, a mixed bag same with Saturday with scattered showers, sun breaks, maybe isolated thunder. Wet weather at times on Mother's Day, but we'll catch some dry time in the mix too. Monday looks wet, and then eventually you'll notice next Wednesday is dry, and it looks like that may be the start of another dry stretch.